Hey guys, how's it going? Crazy, and today I'm bringing you guys a another GTA 5 roleplay video. Today I'm going to be doing a junkyard rescue. So my friend text messaged me saying that uh, there's a junker that he has. He's driven it quite a bit, and he's rolled it a couple of times and crashed the hell out of it. Um, the car actually is only, I think it's two blocks away. So we can just we can run there. You know, it's not going to be too far away from us. Um, it's just uh, around this area here. Um, so the car uh, is quite, it's a classic car. Um, and he says I can make a fair profit on it. Uh, I've paid a thousand for the car already. I've uh, seen some of the photos, you know. And, uh, you know, I thought a grand's alright. And he's, he was more than happy to take a grand for it. Uh, hopefully we can make a profit. I think his house is right here yeah there, there it is so this place is a uh is this my mate's uh, house let's check if the gates okay he's closed the gates so i'll just um i'll hop over to his fence right here so the car should be here in his little car what we has like broken car i can't really see can i see it anywhere oh there it is there it is oh that does not look good at all Oh my god, look at the back here, the fender's all uh, bent, cracked in. Oh, and the boot as well is knackered by the looks of it. Glass is smashed, the front as well, fender's absolutely got it. Um, uh, he's actually told me he left it out for a while. And you can see that as well, as the chrome, all the chrome's rusted. The paint is awful as well. Let's see if it starts up actually, you know. I don't think it will. Oh, it does. It actually does. Oh, there's a bit of steam, but it actually is. It looks drivable. It is. So I think we'll drive it to my garage now. Um, you can see the bump as well in the back bumper. There's hanging on by a thread. Let's just break his fence together. I don't think he'll mind. You know, I've paid him a grand. I'll pay him like a bit to fix that. So let's try and get this back to the garage. And see what we can actually do with this, because we'll probably need to replace all the majority of the fenders except one of the fronts. Oh, you can hear that as well. It's probably the cooling system that we'll need to replace as well. Change all the chrome, get new windows, and the interior as well is not not looking too good. So here's my garage. Let's get out. Um, actually, let's first open everything up to see uh, how it looks so let's do open so there we go check inside oh the front oh the engine is not looking good at all the engine's not looking good it's a bit steamy there I think yeah the coolant system is gone um, you can see as well in the filter there rusted so I have to change the filter yeah the cooling system is definitely gone I think that's what's uh, causing the majority of the smoke overheating um, yeah, we have to change the chrome, change the front fender there, change the rear fenders. The inside the boot doesn't look too bad, but the boots itself is knackered. Um, the bumper there absolutely rusted, so we have to change that as well. Uh, the doors look okay, and then we'll have to change obviously the bumper, the front bumper as well, right there. So, yeah, uh, that fender doesn't look too bad, so we'll probably have to change that. Uh, the windows we'll have to replace. Yeah, change the windows. The interior, you can see it's not looking too good right there. But, you know, cuts in the leather and stuff, which I can easily do myself. Change the fen both fenders. Uh, change the boot. And then, hmm, what else can I, do I need? I need obviously the windows. I think the roof of the car is okay. So I think he's rolled the car. It looks alright, so... Yeah, I think that's all I need to do really to change it. So, let's start off by taking off all the chrome. So, let's just take it off here. There we go. Take it off the door. Take it off the sides here. Take it off the other side. There we go. Put it down here. And we'll leave that as a little scrap pile. Uh, let's take off the, uh, the rear uh, bumper. There we go. Unscrew that. Unscrew that. There we go. Grab this. 
put it here in the junk pile over here. And we'll do the same for the front as well. So um, I think it's relatively the same. Let's uh, unscrew. Actually, I think I need to replace the fenders. Actually, let's get off first. So let's unscrew that. There we go. Unscrew the first bolt. Unscrew the second. That's actually quite hard to get. There we go. The second one released finally. Let's uh, change, take this off and change the second off. There we go. And then we'll put this right here in a separate pile just to get out the way. And we'll probably do the exact same thing as well for the uh, front and the rear fenders as well. Uh, the door, uh, I'll probably leave the door. You can see um, in the fenders there, I think. The front one it doesn't look too bad, it's not rusted, but the back, obviously, when we replace that one, it won't look like that anymore. Um, so, yeah, let's let's unscrew this one. There we go. First one done. Second one done. Third one done. Fourth one done. Put it here in the junk pile, and we'll do the same thing on the other side as well. Let's unscrew that one. Unscrew that one. There we go. Third, and then the final one, there we go, and we'll put that as well here in the junk pile. Um, and then we'll put take the boot off, there we go, first and the second one. Uh, it's not that heavy, so I can carry this, and then we'll take off the bolts right there, and right there, there we go. And we'll also put these over here, just out the way for now. Um, and then uh, I'll wait for the parts to, come, uh, to arrive, and then I'll probably just, you know, sort everything out. Uh, check the engine and give it a little MOT um, and everything. So guys, um, I've been working hard all day. As you can see, I've put on the new fenders. Um, I've put on uh, all of the new chrome as well. So it's not looking too bad. All the bumpers, everything is replaced. Um, there you go. You can see, look at the boots as well. Everything's looking really clean now. Changed the lights as well because uh, the rear lights were broken. Uh, well, one of them was, and then uh, I think, yeah, the interior there. Uh, I changed, put new leather over the seats, and then we changed the uh, intercooler uh, and the cooling system, and we changed the filters. Well, on the cat on the engine, as you guys can see there, they're both looking. Here we go. Uh, it's looking. Here we go. Looks extremely, extremely clean right now. Uh, so I've also uh, sanded down all the paint as well. Uh, and then we put like a little primary coat of uh, grey on it as well to take it to the paint shop. So it's going to be a bit cheaper when they re over spray it as well. As you can see it's going all over the car. So uh, we'll probably drive it now towards to the paint shop. And get it ready for, uh, for the paint shop. So we're on our way there right now. It's not that far. Uh, it's handling so much better now. The noise is gone. The squeaking noise and the... Oh, the sound of like the steam. You can see that the chrome on the bump and everything is looking so much more cleaner right now. The car is actually not looking too bad. So let's put a left turn here. Uh, it should be open. It is open. Okay, let's just reverse it up, get it straight in. He's there. He's right there. So let's quickly respray the car because uh, you know uh, I don't think a lot of people will want to buy it in this color so let's check what classic colors they have because we obviously want to keep it classic because the car looks pretty good in like classic colors oh the red looks really nice that looks alright that, that looks more like a classic color for it ooh the candy red I actually thought about doing candy red because the candy red is uh, a classic color yeah let's go for it there we go so we've respayed the car and it looks like a completely different car now. Look at it. It looks so clean compared to uh, what it was before. Like all the chrome looks so much better. The alloys actually didn't do, didn't do anything to them because they were fine actually. That was the only good thing about the car. And obviously one of the fender, front fenders. So we changed all the glass as well. I got my friend uh, to just do that for me. You know the place the front and the back glass because it's actually pretty difficult so guys hope you guys actually enjoyed this roleplay video please leave a like uh, subscribe uh, if you haven't put on that notification bell be sure to put it on so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next video
See ya.